Have you always been into like this open dynamic? Not really, no, until I met this slag here and the whole new world opened up, you know, so yeah, it's, it's been amazing. It's been the best three months of my life, so. Does he seem okay? I feel like he might seem kind of sad. I feel like she seems a little weird, but fine, but he seems really off. I feel like this is like the genuine cope. I feel bad for him. I actually feel really bad for him. Three months, yeah, three months ago, he was a normal guy. People figured out he could swallow an entire potato without chewing, and it's just all been downhill. Do you guys know who Bevo is? <laughs> I feel insane even saying that out loud. Do you guys know <laughs> who Bevo is? Are you, are, are you guys on the Bevo wave? 1.4 million followers on TikTok. Pretty famous guy. Okay. I didn't know who this guy was until recently, but apparently he's got a very, a very good skill. Okay. He's got a very amazing skill. He went viral not that long ago. He's, he's doing some impressive stuff here. Now let, let's check out his content. 26.6 million views. This is what you're going to want to do to go viral on TikTok and become very famous. Okay. Dinner. You know the rules. Big up the hangover. Beef. Roast dinner. Beef, whatever. Listen, we got beef. Uh, they are... Don't know. Dude, British people talk so weird. They talk so f***ed up. Especially this, whatever this kind of accent is, is insane. Beef, whatever. They got the beef and... and, 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 ch and they got the beef and, and peas and the gravy and the potato, whatever. What they are. We got pigs in blankets. We got a Yorkshire pudding, peas, potatoes, parsnips or turnips. One of the two. Most amazing British meal. Fine dining. <laughs> Just a mound of peas. Nobody actually likes peas. Nobody actually wants to eat peas. And um, Brussels sprouts were split up, so let's get into this. You know the rules as well. Jamaican style, big up the Levi Roots thing. I actually rate this, and we've got none next, so I'm going to have to go to some shit. <laughs> Levi, sort of Jamaican style, big up the Levi on the, on the thing. You man out, send me some, please. That's all we're getting. Sweet. All right, let's get into this. Just rate everything out. Now, you may, be, you may be curious, why is this video of this average British man with a up teeth and a strange soccer jersey and uh, porcupine hair. Why is this so popular? Why is this video famous? I mean, he's just eating food, right? Well, it's the way he eats that has made him blow up, okay? Uh, whatever that is, I keep forgetting. Brussels sprout. Oh, I've seasoned very well. Very nice. They're cut up. They're banging. Uh, 7 out of 10. Pigs in blankets. Sorry, Aggie, again. You know the rules. Oh, this is seasoned very well. Big up the personal chef, aka the dad. Seven out of ten on that. Uh, beef. Just gonna just try and chew this. So for some reason, there's something wrong with this guy where he he doesn't chew things. He just swallows it. He just swallows things in his gob. He doesn't actually chew anything. He puts it in his mouth and just it just falls down into his stomach basically. Like his his neck is so wide and his teeth are so weak, he cannot chew properly. So it just falls into his stomach. He, he just doesn't chew. This is his entire thing. This is why this has 26.6 million views. This is what he blew up off of. But he's hanging out with this girl lately. Dinner, you Dinner. know the rules. Um, me with Sophia. Happy Valentine's Day. You know the rules. Listen, what we got? We've got... What have we got? Butterfly chicken. <laughs> butterfly Wait. chicken. Yeah, butterfly chicken, chips, oh rice. God. Well, it turns out he's gotten into a bit of a controversy because of his dating life. And it's become kind of a meme lately. Bevo, the, the certified throat goat of England... Uh, as someone in chat just said, the throat goat, he's gotten into some serious controversy and I, you know, I kind of feel bad for him. I'm, I'm personally a big fan of him. I like the fact that he, uh, eats and doesn't swallow. It makes me feel good inside. It makes my, my tummy feel warm and my feet feel fuzzy and my, uh, butthole tingle. It makes me cringle even a little bit in my diapy. So I, so, you know, it's kind of sad to see this guy kind of falling off a little bit. All right. So we have this TikToker known as Bevo who went viral last year for this TikTok where he was doing a food review and he ate a roasted potato without really chewing it. That's what he's known for. That's his claim to fame. But then he obviously started to fall off because I don't know where you really go with that. But instead of him getting a job or living a more modest life, he decided to take the Adam 22 route and he's resorted to being a cuck. That's this guy's career. He ate a potato. Went oh, poor fella. Poor fella, look, you know what it happens? Uh, it happens. <laughs> it happens to the best of us, I guess. That's pretty dark, though. I feel like uh, part of the problem here for someone like Bebo is like, this guy is just like an average British. Like, this is just the average person in England. Like, he he is not remarkable in any way. You know, has 
fucked up teeth, has a giant neck that he just lets food fall down like a giant cavern. Not a remarkable guy, but he got a little bit of attention for his strange eating habits, and he got addicted to the attention, right? Like, really, this should have been the only video. We shouldn't have even seen this video, but if we have to see one, this should have been the only video we see. But he got addicted to the attention. He just kept posting and posting and posting, and his personal life fell apart pretty quickly, unfortunately. And now he's like he's like a lol cow. Mukbang to cuck pipeline, many such cases. I mean, I... <laughs> Are there? I, I can't think of many of them. Viral, got a million TikTok followers, but couldn't capitalize on it. So now he's resorted to humiliating himself for attention. That's how desperate Bevo is to stay relevant. So he first talked about his lifestyle when he went on this podcast and it was just brutal. I mean, he was trying to brag about it and act like he's got the life everybody wants. And he thought this would sound cool or something, but everybody is just cringing. It's hard. Bro, if you have a weird relationship, why would you ever go on the whatever podcast? The whole point of it is to ruthlessly mock you and bully you. Literally, the entire point of the whatever podcast is they bring girls on and they're like, you're dumb, you're ugly, you're not a 10. What did you eat for breakfast this morning? Like, that's the entire thing. Why would you ever go on here? I guess he's just desperate for clout. I guess he just saw there was a podcast and wanted to go on, but it just seems like such a bad idea. He eats like an herbivore. <laughs> yeah, he does. He, he eats like, I mean, like, 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 like an anteater would eat or something. Please show the clip of his massive money stack getting stolen on the street. I haven't actually seen that. Where can I find this big rod? You got to inform me, buddy. Hard to watch. What does that look like for you guys since you're in an open relationship? Just sex galore. Sex galore. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. What does it look like in an open relationship? Sex galore. I mean, I assume. I assume if you're in an open relationship, probably that kind of thing is happening. Bro is Kirby. <laughs> That's true. That's true. She having friends. She brings me friends. I'll bring her friends. Parties. You you bring her male friends? Yeah. Have you always been into like this open dynamic? Not really, no, until I met this slag here and the whole new world opened up, you know. So yeah, it's it's been amazing. It's been the best three months of my life, so does he seem okay? I feel like he might seem kinda sad. I feel like she seems a little weird but fine, but he seems really off. His mannerisms are I feel like he doesn't actually like it. I feel like he's he's I feel like this is like the genuine cope. I, I feel bad for him. I actually feel really bad for him. Three months. Yeah, three months ago, he was a normal guy. People figured out he could swallow an entire potato without chewing. And it's just all been downhill. Bevo Ting got robbed. Is this on the talk? I have to, I have to resort to the talk to figure this out. Oh my God. No way. Hey, hey yo, brother. Come on. What are you going to Fucking sick. <laughs> no, Bevo. No, Bevo. Oh. He's just getting it from all sides today. What's you and TikTok all the time? Come on, yeah, no, respect. Come on, get a snap on Yeah, that. yeah, come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, yo, hey, yo, yo, brother, that's come smart. on. Where you going on, Bunko? Oh, from? fucking sick. <laughs> no, Bebo. Oh, he was my favorite TikToker. <laughs> Poor fella. All right, Bevo, talk to me, talk to me about Sea Town, man. How is it this coming is, up? It's rough. It's rough ends. Violence on top scene, marketing genius, you know. This. Why the fuck does he talk like that? British people are so strange. What is this? I got punched for no reason. This is like a filter, right? Or makeup. <laughs> Poor Bevo, man. He needs help. <laughs> we need to help Bevo. How do I get to Bevo's house to help him? How do I help Bevo right now, man? I feel like he's like my friend and he's like going down a dark path and I need to help him out. He's getting robbed. He's getting punched or faking being punched. His girlfriend is getting her back blown out. I feel bad for him, bro. I need to help him. She kind of convinced you to make it open. Not really. She just made me open my eyes and live life a bit, you know? And it's She made me open my eyes. No, dude. No. No, dude. Dude, there's no, there's no way. I'm sorry. I, I just don't get it. I don't get it. You know, I, I feel like, uh, I feel like unless you're like unempathetic or sociopathic or uh, there's just something off, but I feel like there's no way there's literally no fucking way. Like it's just intrinsic to like how you are as a person, like that you would not like, it's, it's not like it's like societally enforced. Like, it's just, you would, you just feel weird. If you imagine your girl running around on you or getting her back blown out, even if you're getting at the same time, it's like, well, Jesus, my girlfriend is getting dick from another guy. Does that mean I'm not enough? Like, Jesus Christ. Like, you're just going to have that kind of thought. It's going to destroy your self-esteem. There's no way he's happy about this, man. I feel like he's like, I feel like this is like my buddy. I feel like Bevo is like my little, my little brother. I feel like he's like my little autistic cousin that I need to help. I need to help Bevo. It's just, again, I don't want to live that boring life. I don't want to have to get up at city o'clock in the morning and get up. 
They want to have someone to go back to for emotional needs and want lots of sex, but you can just have lots of sex in your relationship. Like, if you just date a girl who you like, I feel like you can just fuck. No? Can you just have sex? Dude, people can be poly. Thank you. <laughs> Home at city, clock of the night for basic money. I want to live life, make money, and... Isn't that just insecurity? Well, yeah, I mean, it's like it's normal that if you're with a girl and the or if you're with a guy and they're like sleeping with other people, you're going to feel insecure about that. I feel like that's just is like is insecurity always a bad thing? Like at, like at all times. Like obviously you're you're not going to like that. You're not going to enjoy that. You know what I mean? <laughs> you're not going to enjoy that. <laughs> Do a lot of shagging, so yeah, why not? Well, can you do that, but still have a monogamous relationship? No. What's the point in that? That's not fun. What's the point? Of what do you mean? What's the point? What do you mean? What's the point? She's not enough. She's. I mean, she's attractive. She's not enough. She's not enough, bro. Come on, come on, bro. No. What's the point in that? That's not fun. What's the point of having one person? Even the other girls here, dude. Even the other girls here are like looking at him like there's something off. They're like, what's going on, Bevo? Poor Bevo. <laughs> Poor Bevo, man. We need to help. We need. To, well, I need to help Bevo. I need to help Bevo right now. I like Bevo. Give him help. Of having one person? Yeah, so I guess since Bevo doesn't want to work a normal job, he has his girlfriend hook up with other guys. That's his logic. But I don't know if you really realized how embarrassing this would be. I mean, you never live this shit down. Like Adam-22, Sneeko, and Destiny, those guys will forever be labeled cucks, and they probably hear it all day on social media. But Bevo, he chose to go down that route, and he decided to admit all this on a podcast. If you're going to go down that route, you need to really not care, bro. You need to really not care. You need to be committed to it. Because if you do the open relationship thing once and then you like go back to close relationships, you're just going to be called a cuck forever online. You need to really you need to really be committing to that lifestyle. You need to really think about the consequences of your actions here. Man, we just need to help Bebo. We just need to, how, how do we help Bebo? How do I help him? How do I get to him? which is a bold move i mean only bevo would see adam 22 pimping out his wife and be inspired by it like he somehow thought this would help me find jason love no no bevo dude no bevo he's posting the guy that railed lena the plug no bevo poor fella how do we help him? Bebo, you don't need the BBC therapy. How, how do we help you? You need the BWC therapy, okay? How do we help you? How, how do we help you? Please. This is going to go well. So, you are a cuck. Uh, define a cuck, please. A cuck is a person who purposely allows their women to get f***ed by other men. Uh, for money, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, wait. You wouldn't what? let her sleep with other men if they weren't paying her? No, they're not paying her, let's get that right. We make content, we get paid for content. So yes, we involve other people because it makes more money. So you do let other men f your woman on purpose, Yeah, and right? she lets me f other women. Sure, sure. Is that the only priority though in life? Like is the only thing that matters money? Is, is, that, is, that, is it really worth that? He's trolling? I don't think he is, bro. He looks upset. I don't think he's trolling at all. It's like, oh, well now I have like, you know, He's a TikTok star. I don't know how much money he has. It's like, okay, now I have a couple extra thousand dollars. But now, like, my wife is, or girlfriend is running around on me. Now everyone mocks me forever. My relationship is like, you know, you have to you have to be a really specific kind of person to be okay with an open relationship. I would guess that that's not pretty much everyone. He looks like if Sid from Ice Age and the Property Brothers had a baby. Dude, based. I like Bevo. I'm a fan of him. I'm a big fan of Bevo. We need to, I just need to help him. I feel like he needs help. I feel like he needs something. Sure, I, I understand that. Yeah. But you would be a cuck, correct? I just don't like that saying, but uh, we do it. For I mean, I'm sure you don't, but I mean, that's what a cuck is, is somebody who lets another band purposely f*** <laughs> their woman, right? That's a cuck. Yeah, if I'm a cuck, I'm, I'm a cuck, yeah. I'm, I'm I don't a... think Andrew's trying to insult you. I think he's, no, no, he's, he's just trying to clarify it. Again, no, I'm just trying to clarify it. I'm not trying to insult you. I'm just calling you a cuck. I'm just, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to like scientifically analyze what's going on here. It's not an insult. It's not an insult. I'm just trying to clarify it. I'm just trying to understand what's going on here. <laughs> Poor Bevo. Help him. I need to help him. He needs help. Someone help Bevo. God damn it. It's what it is, isn't it? Again, we, we're young. Um, we're probably in a better position than you was when you was 23. Again, no throwing shade, but I just don't feel like being a slave to a religion. He's 23? Damn. He's this young and he's already this deep down the, the polyamorous pipeline? Bro. This is dark, bro. 
this is a, this is a dark day for him. How do we help him? How do we help? How do we help? I keep saying it. I just, I feel like he needs help. It's like you're 23 and it's already over. You're 23. You had a video blow up where you sucked down a potato and now your new girlfriend is getting blown out. It's just so bad. He's just jealous. It's going to get you anywhere in life. It's good praying. It's good doing your thing, but I just... It feels like polyamory and open relationships have gotten way more popular lately and it's hard for me to get the hype. I don't think it actually has. I think it just seems that way because there's like a few influencers doing it, but 99.99999% of influencers are not doing open relationship stuff. I don't think it's actually gotten more. Maybe it's gotten slightly more popular, but I don't really think it has. It's just like there are a few people who are out in the open about it now. The thing is, there have always been, there have always been these like weird swinger societies. I remember when I was in high school, somebody that I went to high school told me, somebody I went to high school would told me that um, there are these parents, apparently, there are these parents that will go to the grocery store and they have this like message that they send if they're like a swinger. They take a um, a pineapple and they put it upside down in their shopping cart. And that means they're a swinger and they're okay with like swinging. Most celebrities do it. I don't think most celebrities do it at all. Egon Shalak, Egon Shalakian. I don't think most celebrities do it. I don't think most influencers do it at all. I know a lot of YouTube people I know, I know a decent amount of YouTube people and streamers, TikTokers, none of them do this. If they do, maybe, maybe they're all doing it and I just don't know. Maybe I'm shaking hands with a bunch of, uh, a bunch of swinger guys, but I don't think that many people do that. I just want to live life out of money and... Be yeah, happy. I mean, it's way better to let people f*** your old lady. All self-respecting yeah. men do that. It takes True. me on flights, it takes me <laughs> True. To, buy a house. It takes to buy a house, it takes me to buy a car, it takes me to buy the jewelry I've got on, it takes me to buy the clothes I've got on. So if and I believe in God, then I'm... Well, thank God you're wearing Gucci and Guess now and you're on the Whatever podcast. I mean, where else could you be? I mean, geez. What what else could you want, man? The only the only thing you possibly want is money. That's the only thing that matters. Nothing else matters, dude. Thank God you have a $6,000 gold chain that you rent. Pull. That's really point? expensive money to allow the person that you're in love with to get dishonored by other men. We enjoy it. You enjoy? Why? Yeah. You, okay, so now we're in a different level. So you enjoy the fact that your old lady gets... I enjoy sex, she enjoys sex, other people enjoy sex, so why not let's just have fun? So I don't think Bevo really knew what he was getting himself into here because he ended up walking off and then afterwards he made a video addressing oh. it where he said he was doing a character and was just lying No way! Which, even if that's the case, it's... Poor Bevo, no. It hurt him so bad, he, he said it was, all, it was all cosplay, it was all an act. You don't understand, guys. I'm not... I was simply pretending. Well... How come when you get backlash, you say it's all an act now? When you, if it was actually an act, when you just play into it more instead of being like, no, guys, I, I swear I would never do that. It's, it's all a bit. It's all a bit. It's still extremely weird. Like who in their right mind would think it's a funny bit to go on a podcast and act like a cuck? So you know, either way, he's still just choosing. I mean, it is kind of funny, but not for him. <laughs> it's not. It's not funny. Like oh, he he owns. You know, to embarrass himself. And I don't think it is a bit like he also said he was paid to say that stuff, which definitely isn't true because he's still choosing to act like this, which I'll talk about later. But after this podcast appearance, I think he just needed to act like it's all joke because he got a lot of backlash from it and it was just embarrassing as hell. So afterwards, he was down bad. Like he said, he's going broke probably because his girlfriend won't give him any money. He said he might have to no. get a job. And he said no. his parents and family members have all seen the podcast appearance. So no. Not going well. No, Bebo. I'm not going to lie because it feels like for me, I look like a, a devalued man. Um, again, my, my grandparents come from a Christian household. My dad's moaned at me for this whole podcast. Um, I've family members, I've seen this podcast. If it, okay, I don't think it's a bit. If it was a bit somehow, you did it. You went on a public podcast and said this. This isn't anyone else's fault but your own. You personally did this. You personally are the guy who did this. Are those veneers? They probably are. Probably made 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 a quick bag off TikTok. Instantly bought a Rolex, um, a Balenciaga shirt, and then got veneers. Maybe he'll go to Turkey next. Who knows? Podcast and yeah, again, I've watched it back and it doesn't look good, um, which is annoying. But again, what can you do? I got told what to say, and me being me, being a nice beaver. I got told what to say? What do you mean you got told what to say? You're saying that whatever podcast made you say this? Oh, I am. Um, I've just run with it and made myself look like a complete mug. Um, lying, trying to make a character, trying to be like these other influencers. And it's all backfired. It is all backfired. I've beefed the wrong people. Um, my relationship is rocky now because I'm not earning money, putting pressure on her. Um, yeah, and I'm just getting a lot of hate. 
And I just don't think I can hack this anymore. I really don't. Look, Bebo, it's not over. Just get off TikTok. Just be a normal, I don't know, bartender or just like, I don't know, normal ass guy. Work at uh, work at Tesco. They have Tesco over there, right? Just be a normal dude, okay? It's going to be okay. You don't have to do this. You don't have to be on, on the podcast on TikTok. Break up with the weird new girl, okay? You don't need her. There's something weird going on there. Stop the polycule. Just be normal. It'll be fine. In, in a year, no one will remember that you're Bebo. I promise. No one will remember that <laughs> you you flashed your money in public stupidly in front of a random stranger and he immediately robbed you. No one will remember, okay? It's going to be okay, Bebo. I believe in you. And I think I'm going to give it. Yeah, buy some alpha male courses. Watch some Wes Watson videos, okay? He'll help you out. He'll, he'll teach you what needs to happen. Justice for Bebo. Day or two and see where my head's at, whether I'll go back to work or... Um, carry on doing this because don't get me wrong I can, I can earn steady eventually from this but at the minute it's just it's dreadful I had a nightclub no one turned up um, no Sophia's been out all day not today. the club people who try to get internet famous need to start having backup plans not people who try people who do need to have a backup plan the thing is if you, I think that uh, like naturally um, people adjust to conditions really quickly and just don't think long term that's why the meme happens of like, you know, poor people get, get, get given the stimulus check and immediately spend it on like a TV and new shoes, right? Because they're not thinking long term. They're just thinking, oh, I just got this money. I'll just spend it right away. And it's like, uh, obviously, it would benefit a lot more from not doing that. But the average person is like a very short term dopamine freak who just like they start making a little bit of money off of one little thing, you know, get a new job instantly. And they, you know, lease a new expensive car or they, they make a little money um off tiktok and they start buying designer clothes and that's like you could easily just not do that and save that money like okay let's say you do go viral on tiktok let's say somehow you make like 25 grand out of it if you just save that money instead of spending it and invest it in like 10 years you could potentially have 50 60 70 grand if you invest it in like an index fund um because the stock market does go up if you make some more aggressive trades you could have a lot more than that if you put it into Bitcoin, you could have a lot more than that because the value of Bitcoin goes up a lot over time. If you make more than that, if you make like a hundred grand or something off rip and you don't fucking gamble it on, on steak or something, if you get that money and you just save it, that can be a down payment for a house. Like you can you can turn that money into crazy shit. 10 years yet from, from investing is what I'm talking about. Just from like the value of the stock market going up over, over 10 years. You can make a lot more than that. But all I'm saying is like you can play this a little smarter. There, there are a lot of things you can do with that. But instead, the majority of people, I think, um, they just don't know how to handle it. You know, that's why a lot of NFL players who get signed, if they just get like a very short contract, they are broke like a year after their contract is uh, over because they, they just imagine it'll last forever. They don't know how to handle it. They're just like, oh, I'll just make more money. They get five million dollars and they spend it all somehow in like fucking 16 months. It's crazy how good people are at spending money. Sitting in the house, can't do anything. I've got no money. Um, yeah. I just feel like TikTok has ruined my life a bit. I do apologize to anyone that I have uh, I have said anything about. Because, yeah, it is humbling. It is very humbling. And my time has come. And, yeah, I was training for six months. It was a great six months. But, yeah, it's all come crashing down. And Yeah, so it seemed like he learned his lesson here and realized how embarrassing this all was. You got to enjoy your money a little bit. I mean, a little bit, maybe. But if you just came into some random money, you should actually not be enjoying it. If you have consistent income where you're making a bunch of money... And you can justify that and it's like lasting long term over the course of like years, then yeah, you should enjoy it. But if you have no money and you immediately come into a bunch of it, do not enjoy it. Fuck that. Do not enjoy it. Do not enjoy shit. Live on peanut butter sandwiches or something. Do not, do not enjoy it. Fuck that. If you go, if you go, if you go viral, especially on TikTok, there's no promise of consistent money, especially with what he went viral for. Like, like his, his ego got to his head. What he, what he should have done is just recognize like, okay. I went viral because I ate food funny. I'm going to save my money that I get from this every single cent so that I can like set myself up for the future. I'm hiding at work so I can watch you base. Hey, this guy's hiding at work. Get this guy's ass fucking fired. This guy's a bad employee. Get him fired now. Was and finally had some self-awareness, but of course nothing's changed and it's only gotten worse. But he was trying some new content for a little, like these street interviews where he just runs up to people and asks them if TikTok is a real job or if they'd let their girlfriend do OF. And then when they'd say no, he'd be like, yeah, well, I'm making 20K. But of course this was not going very well. Listen, what do you think of TikTok? Is it a job? Is TikTok a job? No, mate. Why? It's a joke. It's a joke. Yeah, I don't. What? 
I feel like he's just doing this to justify in his own head how TikTok is a real job. If you blow up and immediately start being like, no, it's a real job. I swear it's a real job. I swear it's a real job. Like, undoubtedly, content creation can be a quote, like a job. I don't, I don't know if real job even means anything, but um, undoubtedly, TikTok can be a real job if you're making consistent money from it over a long period of time. But you shouldn't just be like, oh, a month ago, I ate food funny and now I have like 30 grand. Is TikTok a real job? I make more money than you. Yeah, I make more money from you. It's a real job. Like it's only a real job if you do it consistently over the course of years and are <laughs> making a bunch of money from it consistently and not bl fucking blowing it right away. When, when I'm How much can he possibly be making? I don't really know. I mean, it depends. I mean, uh, for some people who do TikTok, um, I have heard from people who get consistent views and have like over a million followers, they could be making like 12, 13, 14 grand a month. Um, but it depends on like what your kind of content is and if you're able to replicate a bit or replicate the kind of content over time, you know, but you can, you you could, you can feasibly make a living from TikTok. There are ways if it, that video with 26 million views could have made him a bunch of money. I'm pretty sure TikTok's ad rate. I want to say, I'm not an expert on this. I want to say the TikTok ad rate typically is, um, a dollar per thousand views. So if you think about it, if he has 26 million views in one video, that could be $26,000, you know? I'm earning 20 grand a month. A dollar, a dollar per thousand views. So yeah, $26,000. I don't want to be on video. I respect it. Have a good one. That's why I never make money because you don't want to be on video. Brother, listen, you've got all the verbal. I'll get you on camera. Why are you giving Bevo stick? You fucking stink, mate. Stink. Yeah. You fucking stink, mate. <laughs> why is he doing this, dude? Stop. Be I Someone needs to help him. Someone needs to help Bevo right now. Get him something. Get him whatever he needs. I'll help him. I'll help him now. But why? Well, why are you lying and why are you being disrespectful to people? You're crumbling, crumbling. Man. Shut up, crumbling. Shut up, crumbling. Shut up. Crumbling, but they crumble out right here. They can't act like I make dough, bro. Enjoy work Monday, mate. Or if you're not unemployed, yeah. Would you die? Jesus Christ, he's so egotistical about it too. Dude, you haven't even made it yet. You made money for like three days, and you're you're already egotistical, wearing your corny ass jacket. Dude, he needs help, man. A spicy model. No, never. Why? Because I care about my life. I care about my future. Yeah, but my missus makes 70 grand a month. Yeah, but everyone can see her for like two pounds a month. So but oh. in, in 10 years time, no one's going to care. Tell that to, to, to your kids. My kids. True. Yeah, but we're going to live in a nice house and have nice cars. Yeah, but. And that's the only thing that matters, right? Having a nice house and nice cars. Never mind the fact that your girl will be ruthlessly mocked. Her kids will be ruthlessly mocked forever. Like, once again, man, the, the, the idea that money is the only thing that matters. Money money is really important. Make no mistake. Money is really fucking important. Money is really, really important. But there are a few things that you can do that uh, will have serious negative long-term consequences. I would never, ever, 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 ever have kids with a girl who had ever done... Because that kid will be ruthlessly fucking mocked in school. Ruthlessly fucking mocked. Brutally mocked. Forever. Kids will be pulling up her in science class. Okay? It's, it's, man. It's just, there's no long-term thinking. It's just instant dopamine. Your, your wife's an OF model, so. You want to live good, innit? Everyone wants to live good. No one wants to work. Yeah. And if she's looking after me, why not? Uh, me personally, I care about more than money. I respect that. Me personally, like, I can make my own money. I'd rather make 50k a year and not have everyone see my wife. That's just me personally. Oh. Though. Yeah, so he gave that a shot, but I guess it wasn't embarrassing enough for him. So now he's taking the cuck bit to the next level. It's crazy. I thought he felt some shame the first time. I thought he was embarrassed about it, but he just cannot give it up. You know, he needs to humiliate himself so he can afford to buy these ridiculous outfits and fly in first class. You know, he needs that so badly. This is crazy, too. Like, they make a little money and they instantly just think that they can live like a, like a fucking G forever, right? Like spending money on first class plane tickets? Really? You you just started making money. Why? For like a four hour flight, you need to pay triple for a first class seat so you can have like a little extra leg room. Is that really gonna make your life that much better? He'll make a TikTok begging another man to hook up with his girlfriend. Like he's fully committed to the cuck bit this time. He said he even wants to sit in the corner and watch. That's how down bad this guy is. Right guys, I need your help. And Sophia needs your help too. I need everyone to take Jason Love, Sophia's dream, no! dream, dream collab. Her dream collab is Jason Love? Collab? Dude, help, help Bevo. 
He need. I don't know what he needs. He just needs something. Help, Bebo. Get him in the gym or something. I don't know. He just needs help. He needs some serious help. We need to help him right now. It's to collab with Jason Love. And I want to sit in the corner and watch. So make sure you tag him down below. I'm going to sit in the corner and watch. Bebo, no! No, Bebo! Dude. Someone needs to help him now. We need to help Bebo. <laughs> Please. Please help him. I need to find out where he is. He's somewhere in Miami. Um, yeah, and let's just make the dream collab happen. It will be her first BBC content. No! Sausage. No, 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 no. Jason loves all for it. We need to reach no. out to Turn him the to fucking video sure off. Holy shit. No. <laughs> no. 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 No, dude. No. Bevo. Ah. Stop. Stop. No. I, I I really especially hate how he says the first BBC content implying that there's going to be way more to come. Like it's it's just the start, like it's just the start, mate. Yeah, it's gonna be the, the her first BBC collab. She's first and for it, dude. We need to help. How do I help him? How do I help Bebo? Is he is he cooked forever? Uh, he might be done forever, but I don't know. I feel like I need to help Bebo. I feel like I feel like I I feel like I need to help him now. Him down below. Any other corn stars in Miami? Let me know. Sophia's here. Sophia's there. Sophia's everywhere. But yeah. Jason Love, we need you, brother. You can only do her if I can sit in the corner and watch. So make No! Stop! No! Bebo. You don't need to do this, Bebo. It doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be like this. We can go back. I can fix you, Bevo. I can fix you. We're gonna take apart your entire body and reassemble it, and we're gonna make you right again. Dude, dude. He dropped he 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 dropped the whole it was an axe thing. He said it was an act for one day, and then the next day he was like, Hey, Jason Love, come blow out me, me white girlfriend, yeah? Bevo on the sneaker arc, my goat, dude, he needs help. We need to help Bevo now. He's just hurting himself, man. Make sure to get in contact, Instagram or on here. I've DM'd you on TikTok. She's up for it. Yeah, so that's what You DM'd a guy on TikTok to get him to fuck your girlfriend? No! Dude. I think it's over. I think he might be fried. I think it's probably over for him, man. It's not even just like the open relationship like meme. Like it's like it's literally like he wants to sit in the fucking corner and watch. He wants to watch her get blown out. How do we help him? How do we help him? I'm going to help him. I'm I'm capable of helping him. I can fix it. I I I can fix it all. I can bring him back. He's going to be fine. He's going to be fine. I'm going to be your boy Bebo. I'm going to help you, okay? I promise, man. That's what Bevo's up to. It's crazy what people do for money and to try to stay relevant. Like, I don't think it can get much worse than that. And his girlfriend is just terrible for him. I mean, she's destroying this man. Like, she probably tells him if he wants to get paid, he has to help drive traffic to her OF. And of course, the only way he can do that is by embarrassing himself and acting desperate and pathetic. Dina. Miami, Dina. We're back together. Yay. Love you. <laughs> what? Big toys if you need help. Um. Right, she's out in Miami, she's seeing uh, Mr. Jason while we're eating tacos, so... She didn't even say it back. She didn't say it back. She didn't say it back. Bebo, man, I think it's over, dude. I think it's over. I don't think I can help him. I think Bebo is Jover. So, big up LA. Big up uh, Danny D. How was Danny D? Amazing. Yeah? Treating her to a nice breakfast in the morning. Well, let's just say she's treating me. Yeah, so that's a sad existence. I mean, Bevo needs to get out of that relationship. This is just terrible. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Dude, it's over. It's... I <laughs> I felt bad for him at the beginning. You can't feel bad anymore. He's He's gone. He fell down the fucking rabbit hole, man. I don't know how you can... I don't know if you can save him. I don't know. Testosterone injections might do it. I don't, I don't really know if that's it. But we just... We got to help him, man. We got to help him, bro. Some women are so evil. I mean, but he's letting it happen. He's letting it happen, dude. He wants it to happen. He likes it. He's like, yeah, just had a good night with, uh, just had a night, just, just had a night with Jason, yeah? Now I'm treating her to a breakfast. Or should I say she's treating me to a breakfast, yeah? He needs help, bro. He needs, he needs some serious help. I don't know how we're supposed to save this guy. I don't know. I think it might be over for him, man. <laughs> poor guy. Poor fella. Poor Bevo. Damn.
Goodbye, Bevo. It was nice knowing you, buddy. It was nice knowing you. GG. GG, brother. Man. How do we help him? How do we help this guy? All right, chat. Saddest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, it's pretty bad, bro. It's pretty fucking bad. I don't know what the path forward is when you're at that point, you know? Don't mind the idea of open stuff. Public humiliation is crazy. Like begging for BBC on TikTok is ridiculous. I do mind the idea, but I also especially think it's really bad when he's, he's like, I, don't, I guess, I guess, I guess it's like his fetish or something. I guess, I guess if he really likes it, it's, I don't know. I mean, you can't stop him, but I just can't imagine he's enjoying that. I cannot imagine he's enjoying whatever's going on right now. I, I feel like he needs a, he needs a helping hand. Can you play FNAF VR on stream with counselors and reparations? Don't I have to get like a VR headset for that? FNAF VR? I think I'd have to get a headset for that, so, which I don't own. Maybe if it was really good content, I'd be open to it. I gotta do more, um, I gotta do more gaming stuff in general before I dump before I dive headfirst into VR. Uh, but if you guys have suggestions for horror games or other silly games you think I should play that would be good on stream, send an email to turkeytombusiness at yahoo.com and I will add it to the list. I'm creating a docket of games to play. I like the shorter games that you can get through in like two, three, four, five hours. So like um, when we played Smiggly Statues, we played, um, what was the other game we played? What was the other game we played? Oh yeah. Uh, mouthwashing that kind of stuff is really good stream content so you know stuff in that kind of vein i think is good also like uh fnaf parody games like five nights at the crusty crab stuff like that i think is funny so maybe i'll do stuff like that man we gotta help bebo though <laughs> we gotta help him we gotta help him bro how do, i don't it might be over but i feel like yeah, i feel like it's only over when you say it's over you know it's only over when you say it's over for bebo